Hello, my name is Bianca and today I will be showing you how to create this Day of the Dead Calavera makeup look. First, you want to start off with a white base on your face. I'm using white face paint for this. Place it around the eyes and around the lips. It's okay if there are any imperfections, we will be cleaning them up. The Q-tip helps to create any precise and crisp lines. I'm now creating a black outline with black face paint. This is so I can separate the eyeshadow. I am now drawing the nose, but there are many different shapes you can play around with. I got red face paint, which I am placing around the lips. I am doing this because it will make my lipstick application easier. I'm now placing black eyeshadow on the edges. I think it helps connect the teeth we will be drawing in a bit. For the teeth, I am using an eyeliner brush. It is thin and precise. It is time for the eyeshadow. I am placing green eyeshadow in the center of the eye. And now I am placing blue on the edges. On my eyelid, I am covering it with yellow face paint. The colors don't have to be too opaque because we will be covering them with glitter. Now with a fluffy brush, I will be applying pink eyeshadow to accentuate my cheekbones. Normally we do not use black or very dark colors on our makeup. We want people to see death as a beautiful thing. Now with a flat brush, I am placing glitter on my eyelid. I am now using glitter glue. This is made precisely for makeup. Be very careful when placing glitter around the eye. You don't have to do this, but I feel like eyeliner really helps bring out the eyes. On my chin, I am creating petals. Now I'm just adding a few details around the petals so it is not too lonely. For the eyes, I'm creating half circles. You can create any shape. On the half circles, I decided to create a pattern between orange and red. And then I placed gems in a pattern. Preview. 
Now on the petals on my chin, I will fill them in with more face paint. You can use eyeshadow for this, it doesn't have to be face paint. Now I am adding some swirls on my jaw. And on my nose bridge, I decided to add some more face paint dots. Now I'm just adding more swirls on top of the eye makeup. On my forehead, I decided to draw a rose. It doesn't look like a rose yet, but once all the petals are added, it will start to take form. Now I am placing pink eyeshadow on the rose. And I decided to go back in with more red face paint to make the lines stand out more. On my cheeks, I have placed three circles on each side. Then I placed gems to make it a bit more sparkly. On the rose, I applied glitter around the petals. I decided to place more gems. And this is the finished makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial.